Well, let's talk about the paradox then, because yeah, you, you spend a lot of time talking about how you get power and all this compassion and empathy, and then you talk about the abuses. Yeah. And so what happens? I know. Well, this was, this was the, the striking thing that happened in my 25 years of studying power, um, and teaching it for 20, you know, 15 years here at Haas. And, and you know, when I teach this, um, it's such a fascinating moment. Um, and, and, you know, leaders immediately recognize this. And in fact, I think the power paradox is, it might be the central puzzle of human life, which is the following. As we've been discussing, we, we earn the respect of people. Um, you know, our teenagers at home, the people we work with, our, our critics, um, the members of our community, by doing the hard work that advances the welfare of many. And that's how we get power, right? Um, and that takes social intelligence. And it takes listening and empathy and, and really, you know, careful navigation of circumstances. And then here's the paradox, which is the feeling of power, right? Just suddenly when you feel, man, am I on top of my game, you know? What we know is you start feeling enthusiastic and empowered and hopeful and a little bit, you know, manic and arrogant and on top of the world. So you go to the dark side. And then the dark side comes in and you are vulnerable to all of the abuses of power that we see in every day in our newspapers and in our history books.